Welcome back to Team Tabletop. Today, we're going to be opening up the brand new Ultra Premium Celebration Collection. Now, these things are just one of the hardest items to get currently. Should you buy one? Yes. Can you buy one? Eh, that's, that's subjective currently. But yeah, I'll chronicle everything that has happened thus far in regards to Ultra Premium and how they managed to get to the shop, and you guys will enjoy it tomorrow. I've actually made a really big mistake earlier on. I've opened up the VMAX Collection for the video. However, I did not press the play button. So right now, all that has, all that we have to actually represent that video is that big yellow piece of crap over there. And no, the other one, not me, the, the, that one over here. You see that? Yeah, well, I really wanted to make the video on it. It was actually a, such a good recording, but such, <sighs> didn't press play, didn't press play. Sorry, my life. Now I made sure I pressed play in this one. And Tuna's here as my guide. And she gives us all the lucky stuff here. And why exactly is this thing so hard to get? And why do people want it? Because scalpers, scalpers love this shit. I'm not gonna lie. They charge an arm and a leg for it. Because you can buy these things for like 170 euros retail, which is considered cheap. On the aftermarket, they're going for double that price, 300 euros. It's actually so stupid that I'm opening one of these right now. Holding it long term, you can get like a few. I wouldn't be surprised you can get like a grand out of this after a couple of years. Oh, well, there we go. That's too late now. Here goes our investment. What you going? What you doing, Tuna? You're looking for it. You're looking for it. You can smell it, can't you? Yes. Ooh, I hit myself. Almost. Oh, Jesus. I can feel the uh, regret already as I open this. You okay, Tuna? You okay? There we are. Hopefully we can get you guys a better look at this without the... Uh, film here or the cling film there we are perfect there train train what what does the secret entail i really don't want to damage this thing it's it's like such a premium set and i really do not want to harm it okay how does this thing actually come out like this all right so you're meant to take it out like this there you are. Then it pops right out. And yeah, that's why it couldn't get out. There's a little bit of a gluey thing in here. So if you guys have your very nice scissors at home. You can get out the adhesive without damaging the box. You can see here, there's a little bit of a residue there. Sure. But you can take that one off easily. It's just like one of those little gummy things that they kind of use. No real harm to the product if you think about it. All right, there we go. Got it mostly out. We'll get rid of it later. You guys can see here, even as a close-up, there's like Pokemon all over it, right? Yeah, there you go. You can see the sheen there, right? Squirtle and all them as the light reflects correctly. It's not just like empty whiteness. Also got like the nice little tail there. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Hidden behind the actual tape itself. So, train. Train on. I shall train on. Thank you. Same story with the front of the box. Beautiful stuff there. 2-5 on the big cheeks. Nothing on the big tail. Sadly, up the head. Train on again. And how does one even open this thing? I think we can find some instructions over here, right? So we're going to save that for later. But yeah, it's meant to open up like this as we train on. So I'll just figure this out. can hear stuff ruffling inside it. Come on. Oh! Oh! There's magnets! There's magnets, people! And there you are. Even nicer blackness inside. Like my soul. Open her up. What do you get? Train on. I wonder if I can just get like a huge shot of this thing so you guys can see it from the area of you. Two seconds. So yeah, it's very difficult to kind of pinpoint, but it's freaking huge. It's almost the length of my entire arm. I'm not even that tall of a guy. Uh, so I'm not sure how much that means, but sure, here it is. The entire full length shot of the nice premium collection. Let's cut back to our normal view now. Okay, time for the next part of the training on. Now that we've opened it. Ooh, that, see that. Tree compartments. What's under door number one? 
Oh, here she is. Two very beautiful coat. Oh my God. These are in plastic wrappings. I can never take them out. That's sad, but it's beautiful, isn't it? You guys can see over there. Holy crap. Is it great? And you also get the big Pikachu card over here. Big anniversary sticker. Extremely yellow. And very nice centering, actually, for these premiums. All right. Aren't you just amazing? We're going to do like a nicer look of it later on. You guys know me. I'm as much a collector and a player as all you guys are back home. So we're actually going to not open these up. They're going to stay inside their wrapping for and probably to put it back inside here later on. How many of these things did we actually get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 packs of celebrations, people. Oh my God. What is door under door number three? Because I feel like this is going to be the big money maker. So we're going to take a look at what the tail entails. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice that, but take a look at this. It's actually like the female Pikachu and the male Pikachu tail. Okay. I don't have I don't like how they're both like oriented the same way. Maybe this one would have been better flipped. That way there's like a nice central design. But sure, it is what it is. You pay for expensive cardboard, you get expensive cardboard. Oh wow, speaking of not expensive cardboards, what do we get here? Got a nice chilling rains. Chilling rain three chilling rains. Jesus Christ. Battle styles, vivid voltage, and a darkness of blaze and a battle style. What the flip? Why do I get Three of these lads. And three of these lads. And we got one battle styles and darkness of blaze. Jeez, where is Evolving Skies? Where is the love for Evolving Skies here? And I can guarantee you that this is the code card for the actual stuff itself. You can see me and use it in the online game sometime in the future. So we're just going to put you all the way back in there. Tuck you away. Like so. We are definitely opening up the packs in this video though, guys. Don't worry about it. Don't you worry. But lastly, guys. Okay, put you back neatly. See it? Even has a little... What's this? What is this? So, welcome to the Ultra Premium Collection. Okay. It's like you finished the game, and now the game is telling you all the stats that you did, because we opened all of this before. Except for this, this hasn't come out yet, and this comes inside the same collector chest, waiting for that, mid-November, apparently. Uh, yeah, same over there. Pika- ah, no. It's a Greninja Gold Star from the ETVs, of course, inside the collector's chest. And this is just a big promo list, in case you guys missed it. We managed to get nearly everything, we're just missing some of the stuff that hasn't actually arrived yet. So that's the thing. And these four cards... Oh my god, why are they all not in sequence? Sure, it is. Oh, they are in sequence. Ups, down, up, down. That's just, that's very weird. It's very weird. Sure, it is what it is, isn't it? Okay, and it's time for the Coupe de Gras. I don't know what this is actually for. I pulled it out and we managed to get the, uh, the thing from it. But I think it might make sense later. But what we're looking for is... Here we are. Oh, oh, it comes with a pin. You get a Pikachu coin. Metallic, I'll have you know. Not as good as the one from the... What was it? The 20th year X and Y premium collections. It's still pretty darn good. You get a pin. I did not know this comes with a pin. What pin is it? It looks like a... It is a Charizard and a Pikachu pin. I did not know this was in here. That looks so freaking cool. If only there was a Charizard and a Pikachu on each other. I'm pretty sure that's like the special delivery Pikachu. And we didn't get one of them. It's very sad. Take a look at this. This right here is the reason why it's so expensive. This is like 110 euros currently in the aftermarket. 
Luckily, it isn't held in by tape or anything, so we can just put it back in as soon as we're done. Oh man, this feels heavy. Like, of course it would be. Why wouldn't it be? Look at that. Pristi oh no. Ours has a dent at the top. That's very sad. Very sad. Sure, look at Pokemon Company. If you want to, like, uh, send me goods that aren't damaged, how about, uh, how about that? Yeah, that seems about fine. I'll, I'll put in, like, a complaint later. Maybe we can get to the bottom of this. Back of the card is, wow. Look at that. The Pokeball is, like, popping out. And the Pokemon thing is just, like, so freaking awesome. I think they really knew what they were doing for celebrations. I don't know who's been in charge of the last couple of the releases, Chilling Rains, Battle Styles, but we're getting back to what is actually good sets. Evolving Skies has been really nice. Celebrations is phenomenal. And here she is. Here she is, the Charizard. Oh man, it's orange tinted. That's beautiful. Oh my Jesus. I don't even believe in Christ. Holy crap, is that a beautiful freaking metallic Charizard. Man, it's a, it's a sin to keep these things in here. These things need to be on display. I gotta find like a better way to actually display these things without damaging them. Definitely gonna be sleeving them later on. And then we'll work from there. Put them maybe a top loader or something, and then we just like display them correctly. Although they're metallic anyway, so I don't think they're gonna get damaged. And it might get oxidized though, if you leave it outside for too long. But it is what it is. There you are, putting you back in where you belong. The middle slot, along with the giant peek-a-poo. Nice little pin boy. Coin. Tuck you away, like so. And now that the boys have gone to sleep, it's time for a little bit of uh, fun, don't you guys think? Uh -huh. Sure, let's have a look. There are 17 celebration packs. There are, if I recall correctly, eight one two three four five six seven eight regular packs so let's do it like this for every two celebration packs that we open we open up one of these from the side sound good guys i'm just gonna zoom in a little bit more so we can get like a better view on things uh, give me two seconds okay i think that is perfectly well lit and let's go let's -a go let's start off with a darkness ablaze because why not if we can get like a nice little V Max to go with our thing, we shall not, because it's just green. Thou shall be green. Got a nice little fire energy. Toxapex. Parasol. Shinotic. Bunnaby. Toxel. Sinisty. Carablast. A nice little Meltang. Shinotic. Reverse Rare. And Hydragon. I don't think this is. Yeah, it is a reverse uh, uncommon. My apologies. There we go. Comments are going to be like, Oh, Trent, that was an uncommon. What are you even saying? This guy doesn't even know trading cards. Shut the flip up. I'll say whatever I want to say. Ooh, that's beautiful. Are the rates better on this kind of stuff? We'll see. We'll see. So before we start, I've got to tell you guys the three cards we're currently missing. We are missing a... What was it? We're missing a Magikarp. We're missing a Tapu Lele and a Rayquaza. Those are the three cards that I need to finish because I opened up quite a bit uh, earlier on with a friend of mine, Joe. You watching this? Lo love that experience. We opened up cases or he opened up a case. I opened up like close to a case of that stuff. And we got pretty nice stuff. And we're just missing three other cards there. And yeah, if we manage to get something good, we also give Tuna a treat. That is the rules. A nice little ho oh. When we get something from the classic collection, we will not. Oh, wow. Just a Lugia. 
And we get... Oh! 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 Hello, sir. Hi there. Oh, my flipping God. These things are rare. Oh, he's beautiful. Look at that. The centering's immaculate in this. Holy Jesus. You know what, Tuna? That, that's enough to give you a treat. That's enough to give you a tweet. Holy shit, look at this. Gold cards to go with gold cards. Alright, the next part that's going to happen is we're going to give Tuna a nice little a nice little treat here. This is from, uh, not sponsored by anyone, but uh, Paige and Stewie, if you're watching this, Tuna is very, very happy for your commitment to the cause. One. And it's a Mew, so here you go. You got a second one. There you go, buddy. It's all you're getting. It's all you're getting. There you go. You can tell. Uh, Joe, are you watching this? We knew stuff all the sleeves in, and top loaders inside my like worker pants. So yeah, this is on you. The Mew will get sleeve later on at the very end of the video. Uh, you guys know, but man, starting off really strong. Starting off really freaking strong. Okay. Ooh. Oh no, Is the, it, it can't be two. Can we get two in a row? Is that possible? I don't think so, right? Cosmian. It's a Xerneas EX. Okay, one of the harder ones to pull, actually. I haven't seen a lot of people get the Xerneas. So, but this is our third copy of it, personally, and throughout our collection. I think that's three cases in. And we also get a very nice Lunala over there. So we're going to put the Xerneas over to the side as such. We're just going to try the other thing here. Maybe that was two packs, I believe. And we're going to go on to Battle Styles. Come on. Nice little Alta in artwork. Sleepy Tyranitar. That's all I want. All you want. The Curse of the Green Codes. Our Pokemon codes. Or Pokemon cards. They are a harsh mistress, so they are. Got a nice little Cheryl. Keep Mar. Tower of Darkness. Emblem and Timber. I never when Kesha was a thing. Apparently, like, they did something to her contract so she wasn't allowed to release music because her. I don't know, was it her agent was like a dick or something? So we got Octillery. Any Laurentis. Let's go. So a reverse rare and a rare. Not too bad. Moving on to our next packs, ladies and gentlemen. Two in, and we already gotten like such fire. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie, I got a Charizard from the from the Pikachu VMAX collection, and I thought I had it on camera, and the amount of sadness that went over me when I realized it wasn't pressed played just enveloped me. And we got a nice little Rocket Admin as our second one. Oh, and we also get a Professor's Oak. Okay, pretty decent stuff here, ladies and gents. Three packs in, and we're already reaching so much fire, so much fire. Oh, wow. One of them had nothing except for a shiny Mew. <laughs> except for a shiny Mew. You hear me? Going crazy in my old age. Alright, this is the second one, I believe. We're gonna go for a Groudon, a Reshiram, and Kyogre. Okay, and a Flying Peekapoo V, not too bad. So our first dud pack of the entire thing there. Not too bad, not too great either. I will say though, guys. You guys want to watch us play some games? Please be sure to leave a comment down below telling us what you want, decks you guys want me to play. As well as subscribe to the channel for more content like this, of course. Ooh, all right, now we're talking. Now we're talking, honey, baby, yeah. Okay, got electric energy. Drizzle, not the good drizzle. Which one's the good drizzle, Trent? The dead one. The only good drizzle is a dead drizzle. Nah, no, messing. Uh, the one that lets you find the uh, trainer cards. So we got a nice crushing gloves and Hollow Tauros. Are you flipping kidding me? What the what the deuce, man? It's so unfair. Life is so unfair. Also, this thing hasn't been pointing towards my face. It's so unfair. Life is so unfair. I know it doesn't really matter. I have two audio setups currently in case one of them fail. Technically, tree, if you count the camera in front. But it's not connected to anything very sophisticated, just an onboard camera to make it easier to synchronize later on. Come on, guys. Oh, well, the 
Dialga. Kyogre. Xerneas. Oh, no. Literally the first dud pack. There we are. There we are. Getting the taste of that out of my mouth here. Come on. So far, we got one Rocket's Advent. A nice Mew. Today has been a very eventful day. So a nice uh, Ho-Oh. Palkia and... A Dark Gary. Okay. Man, why couldn't you be the stupid fish? I need the goldfish. Oh, it is pretty nice, though. These things... I don't know. It, they're pretty cool. And we get an OG Pikachu. Man, I love these things. What is this? Turdy Tree? Turdy Tree Pikachus. Of course. Because why not? Please just stop haunting my dreams. Okay. You're ready for this. Thus far, we have gotten tree hits from the classic collection. I'm not sure what the distribution is, nor do I think we're going to ever get like a nice distribution. There's not enough product on the line to tell us, in all honesty. Got a nice Lugia, Cosmian, and two dub packs in a row. Flipping Christ. All right. Washing it out. Washing it out there. Come on, some chilling rains. Chilling rains. I'm going to need you to wash out the aftertaste. Oh my flipping God. Okay. An alternate art would be fantastic. Any alternate art, actually. Holy. And the flippin' thing stopped pressing play again. So we gotta do it again now. There we go. I don't know what's going on with the stupid camera. It's just... It's... I don't know. I don't know. It keeps stopping every five minutes. Probably because I'm filming at like 50 FPS. It's, it doesn't like me doing that. Sure. It's what it is. Score bunny. Globus and reverse. Oh! Oh, I was expecting like a shitty V card or something. We got Agatha. Rainbow rare. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. You kind of see like in the background, there's like ghost or something, right? Oh my God. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Chilling rains. You did it. You did it. You brought it back. It's not an alternate art, but I'll take it. Sure, maybe now the luck will be passed on to our very nice celebration packs, right? Come on, come on. Got a Kyogre. Zachram, not looking good. Oh, and another professor's research. Though we already got like one of you this this opening though. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, that's fine though. I love Oak. Literally the only other guy that lives in town with me. Okay, guys, you ready? Are you ready for this? Oh, 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 is that a peek poo Let's see what we got. We got like a nice little Zekrum, Dialga, and... Oh, it's Asha. You can literally go yip yourself, Cleffa. Ah, sure. And it is a Pikachu. Very nice. Very nice. Never got one of ye before. Was that two? I don't know. We'll open up another one of these. We're doing pretty well, though. All these consider we've gotten like near two dud packs. Only two dud packs throughout. And our pulls have been pretty fire. I'm not going to lie. Got a nice little Palkia. Come on. And maybe a base set card would be nice. A Groudon and... A Zamazenta V. Not great, not bad. Sure. Come on, Chilling Rains. Let's wash it out again. Okay. Nope. Nothing good from Chilling Pain. Okay. A Warpedal. Crushing Gloves. A nice Weedle. Farfetch. Cast Form. Larvesta. Shaba. A Raboot. And a Banette. No. No. Don't like. Trent don't like. Okay. Y'all ready for this? Two more celebrations. Come on. Can we get an Umbreon? And now the camera in front has stopped. Because we have a recording limit. But don't worry. I'll be back in a couple of seconds. Okay. Are we almost back yet? There we go. Beautiful people. Cosmog. 
Evil Tool. Ooh, okay, all right. A nice little base set, Blastoise. Oh my God, beautiful turtle. Here we are. And a silk Leo as well. Man, base set stuff is looking great. I've actually been pointing this out, but you guys see the little swirl on the Blastoise? Yeah, and the girl told me about it, along with everyone else. I, thought, I think it's pretty cool. You don't really notice it most of the time. But yeah, it's hard to see, isn't it? It's the only one, I think, with the little swirl on it. But we're doing pretty dang good, actually. Uh, Could have sold this for like 200 bucks, 300 bucks, but I don't do that. We just, you know, if it's if it's just released, I don't think it's eh, really nice to do something like that, especially if you're a retailer. If you're on the line, you sell vintage product, fair enough, but this isn't vintage. You're literally just hoarding. Sure. Got a nice little Cosmian. A Zekram. Oh my god! Oh my god! Twinning! Holy crap, okay, two... And a flying VMAX! Jesus Christ, we're doing something, I think. Oh man, I like the airplane over there. Love the airplane. Alright, so that's two good ones. I'm guessing Vivid Voltage is gonna be pretty crap then, right? Oh man. Wait, card trick trend. Oh no. Green. But with Vivid Voltage, you don't know. You don't know if you're going to get an amazing rare. I think there were Quazas inside this one. There should be six in here in total. Is that, a, is that, is that, no, it's just a Chim Chow. And a Vaporeon, not too bad actually. Everyone loves them a little bit of an EV Heroes. Holy crap, we are running out of packs. It's been such a fun journey. It feels like, how long has it been? Half an hour? Oh my God, it doesn't even feel like it. Okay, we got a nice little Groudon. Kyogre. Cosmog. And a Zamazenta. Holy crap, that's horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. So, treat attacks thus far. I see something sparkling. Please be a Lele. I need you, Lele. Oh no. Arguably the worst one of them all. And Don Fan, you're not gonna be happy when you see that. I'm not a fan of you, Don Fan. Oh wow. There when Pikachu bet Don Fan inside like the movie, and everyone was all like, how do you do that? Because Ash is such a bad trainer that he manages to go past type advantage by reassuring himself that it's so bad that it works. No, another green code from Vivid. Somewhere out there, you're holding my white coats. I don't know who you are, but I will find you. I have a set of skills. Most of which revolve around IT. But, uh, yeah. I'll beat you. Oh! Finally! Finally! Oh, it's even one of the better ones, too. A Zaxian Amazing Rare. And the centering's so good! Explode. Don't care about you. Don't, don't, give, a, don't give a fuck. Here you are, a Zaxian. Amazing sword. Oh, wow. Centering is actually pretty dang good. So is the edging. My God. This box has been so good to me. I'm not going to lie, guys. It's so good. But don't pay over retail for it if you can help it. There's still supply coming online. I don't see a passing the trio euro marks on the aftermarket anytime soon it's just a reality that we currently are at but we'll give a nice little index once we're done so a nice little cosmian and another pikachu oh my god i love you so many of you love it i love it love it brian if you're watching this love it the uh the stupid electric mouse is just uh, it's just me getting ready come on Open up. There we go. After the amazing rare, I don't think they want to like, uh, they're scared to come out. 
if that's what it is. I'd be very scared too. Okay, we got a nice Dialga. Lugia and Xerneas and a Zamazenta. Oh no. I'm not gonna lie, guys, we are down to our last pack of boat. So pray to Arceus here. Pray to Arceus, my man. I don't know how to pray. I'm not a pious man, but but that, that's what I do. That's what I do. Can we end up with a white coat? Okay. That's good. That's good enough. I don't mind. What was it? Vivid Voltage. Sure. Maybe we'll get one very nice pull from this one, right? Leak Staff. Execute. Chatot. Nice little Clobius. Skidoo. Skidoo. A Shupit. A Drill Purr. And... Oh man, I thought it was something like an Altar, but it's not. It's an Orbital V Max, so it is. Not too bad, actually. So, centering while he's. Yeah, yeah, I mean, given the crappy production, we are actually doing pretty well. But, ladies and gents, this is the moment you've been waiting for. Are you ready? For well, the final countdown. Do -do -do -do. It's a Pikachu. Okay. Classic collection. Hit or miss. Hit. We hit it. Not exactly what I was looking for, but sure, you can't complain with a classic collection card now, can you? Oh my God. One of you. I, I've, I've always wanted one of these guys. What are we at? 35? 34? 35? <laughs> sure. Sure, it is what it is. Here, I'm gonna give me give me two seconds while I round up our pulls here, right? Okay, guys. We are back for a nice little roundup. But let's have a look. We got a nice little Agatha, of course. Orbital, VMAX, Zaxian, amazing rare. Flying Pikachu, a Zamazenta, a Dark Gary, Rockets Admin, Cleffa, Dunfan, Blastoise. Oh, wow, look at that. Got a nice little Cleffa again. A Xerneas EX, of course, a Golden Mew from our first pack. Professor's researches, and I believe that is it in terms of the pools that we currently own. We also managed to get the beautiful, beautiful guys. Pokeball gold card, of course, has a nice little etch foiling on it. Same with the Pikachu V card. And on top of that, we get ourselves a nice little Pikachu and Charizard pin, a damaged Pikachu card. I'm very sad about this, actually. Yeah, Pokemon Company, if you're watching this, can you send me a replacement or I'll just send you mine and then you can fix it? Sure. And the golden Charizard as well. But at least the Charizard is pristine. There you go. There you are. But yeah, that is our video for today, everyone. I know it's a little bit long and I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys do want to buy some product, please be sure to check out our website, tabletop.ie, where I pack and sell everything myself. Pre-orders for Fusion Strike should be up by now. If you guys haven't caught one, do it now before it runs out of time. Although I'm not going to lie, if you guys have a choice between Fusion Strike and more celebrations, buy celebrations, which is also on my website. But yeah, until next time, everyone, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys all enjoyed it. See you in the next one.